Welcome back, everybody, to the Knowledge Dice Podcast. My name is Sean Barry. Thank you all so much for tuning in this week. This week, we have no guest, except Andrew couldn't make it. So we had our good friend, Johnny Rocket, fill in. It's a very fun, argumentatively built based podcast. Other than that, guys, please help promote and please help subscribe, share our, our episodes. New episode, How to Fail at Making Pasta, comes out this week with Chef Tom Fazio. It's really, really fun. Please give it a check out, guys. Other than that, enjoy this week's podcast. They have neither the time. Or the inclination for strategic thoughts. All right, okay, good night, good morning, every hello everybody, welcome. I'm uh, Andrew's out of town. He's doing a little bit of stupid shit. You know him. He gets up to crazy. He's crazy. But uh, we got to do the show must go on. We need to do a podcast. I'm Johnny Rocket. I'll be filming in for him. I'm better than him in every single way, except for I smell slightly worse. But every other way, I'm pretty fucking fantastic. And uh, I just want to say... Um, Sean and Oscar will be here in a minute, but you know, we just gotta roll with the punches and do what we gotta do, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right, oh, this is, this is Oscar in. How you doing, buddy? Oh, he's not in yet. Hello, Oscar. How you doing, man? What's up, buddy? Man. Andrew's out of town, so I'm filling in for him. He's doing his stupid shit. All right. You have hair. Yeah, I always had hair. You got hair, too. What the fuck? Hey, who are you? My name's Johnny Rocket. I'm Andrew's buddy. Oh, all right. What are you doing? How do you you know Andrew? We, You know, we three had a threesome with Stevie Nicks. Back in 1985. Okay. All right. Whew. How you doing? What's up? I just had like four outlets, like all at once. And that's what I happens. always do that. All right, let me ask you a question, a personal question. Are you sober? I'm sober, yeah. Yeah, I know a lot of people who are in the program and they just get fucked up on altoids all the time because they can't do real drugs. Yeah, I'm not in any program, man. I'm just on the Altoids, like fucking. Yeah, you're not. You're not with the program either. Oh, oh. You're with it. Get with the fucking program, Oscar. Who, who the fuck are you to tell me to get with the program? I'm I don't know best, who the fuck you are. I'm your best friend and your worst nightmare. Who the fuck? I just met you, and you're, you're giving me shit. Is that how you? Is that how you talk to people, Mister Johnny a, Rocket? You just you fucking. Need a, do you need, what do they call them when they help you protect your sobriety? What do they call them? Uh, you can't even sponsor. fucking get you a, a sponsor. Thought out. You need a sponsor? <laughs> you need a sponsor? A sponsor? I don't need a sponsor. You need a fucking sponsor. How do you know you're not falling off the wagon? You're already experimenting with Altoids. You're just one step away from overdosing on heroin. I figure I don't look like you. I'm all right. Yeah. Why are you talking like me then? What? Um, I'm I'm gonna go. <laughs> hey Sean. Oh man, Sean left. Well, that's good for him. We have yeah, you and me can get a chance to know each other and oh, we'll God. figure God out your problems. Uh, I'm texting Sean. You better he needs a, I need backup. You don't need no backup. You need to back up a few steps before you took the Altoids. That's the only backup Sean. you need. Uh, I'm calling him. I'm calling him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the problem with your generation. Is you don't know how to respect your elders. I can't tell if you're like, what? how old you are. I won't. Are you? I'm not ashamed I dye my hair. Yeah, it's like Jet Black. Yeah, they call me Jet Black sometimes because I had had sex with a black woman in the back of a, of a F-16 jet. An F-16? Jet, an aircraft jet. Oh, welcome back, Mr. Coward. Mr. Oh, I can't even handle a little bit of novelty. Oh, I'm so scared. I got to go home and masturbate. And, and what's wrong with you, Sean? 
Yeah, you, Andrew go. told you. Didn't Andrew tell you that I was filling in for you today? I'm, I'm going. Didn't. <laughs> this guy doesn't even know how to have a podcast. He doesn't even uh, yeah, know. Yeah, maybe I'm going to. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Knowledge Daddies. I'm Johnny Rocket. And uh, I'm here to do the Knowledge Daddies podcast. And um, uh, today we're going to have Sean Barry as our guest. And Oscar Desiderio, they're also he's also going to be our guest. I'm filling in for Andrew. He's going he's going on a little vacation. He needs to get his head right. He's been on Instagram and trading crypto too much. It's giving him a little anxiety disorder. Well, this is why no one listens to the podcast. Because Andrew will just give it away to strangers without telling his two co-hosts slash business partners. He told me that he was telling you. Don't take it out on me that he didn't tell you. He told me that he was telling you. Who even are you? I told I introduced myself. If you were here on time, you would have heard. My uh, name I'm is Johnny always, Rocket. I'm always on time. You didn't let me in on time, Johnny Rocket. Oh, yeah, yeah. A likely excuse. Is that the same type of thinking that led you to, to make such a massive weight loss? What? <laughs> Oscar, you just you and I are gonna talk. We're gonna ignore this guy. Um, so Altoids. Are they addicting? Jesus fucking Christ. I can't believe. Yeah, they're addicting. You get that <laughs> dopamine rush from when you take four of them at the same time. Are you kidding me? Your body gets in fire flight mode. The the endorphins start running. Your grandma starts calling you from the grave saying, oh, Oski, oh, Oski, I expected so much more for you. And if that's not a drug rush, I don't know what is. Speaking of the other world. God forbid we just, I don't know, talk like human beings, having a good impactful discussion. I'm talking and interesting. <laughs> well, that's what we're doing you know, right now. We're talking about our, our beautiful friend, Oscar, my newest friend. How Andrew always tells me how he wants to be like Tiger Belly and have, he does understand that they're just having a conversation and it gets funny as opposed to how hard he tries to be funny. <laughs> it makes everyone really uncomfortable. I'm not, well, Andrew's not even here for one. Well, I'm just and, saying, I'm talking to Oscar and you, Johnny, that this is what Andrew does. Johnny, what, what do you do for a here. living? John, I do, I do a few things. What do you Are do? You for a elaborate. I have a library card. Yeah. What do you do for a living, man? You know, I sell some. I sell scrap metal. I still play a little music here and there. Play some bar mitzvahs. Play some weddings, funerals, that type of thing. Okay. What do you play? I play music. What instrument do you play? I play this. Oh. That looks like Andrew's guitar. That's because I was letting him borrow it. Oh, okay. Well, why don't you sing a song? Well, there once was a man named Sean Sean Berry. He was allergic to dairy. But he didn't realize until he was about 50 years old. He's been shitting himself for about 100 years. And then he cried to his friend Andrew, who was the only good thing in his life, but he took him for granted. He was sending emails with jobs, even though Sean's unemployable. And he only said thank you once. You like that? Yeah, I mean, the extreme amount of in- inaccuracy, sure. Yeah. Uh, let's do another one. Oh, no, you really didn't, don't have to. All right, I'll get into tuning. I was playing in drop Z. Let's put it into upward P. All right. Can I keep tuning down, man? girlfriend and she said I'm about to die cause I'm 74 years old I said you're not old enough for me she said 
You're too young for me, I said. You're not old enough for me. And then I ate her out, and it was delicious. How about a ballad? Mm, okay. See, Johnny, you're a lot like Andrew, where he just talks and talks. Playing in the meadow <laughs> for someone to hold, hold me tight and make me fun. And Sean Barry is alone again. He's so critical. He has just one friend, and it's Knowledge Daddies. <laughs> knowledge Daddies. And we're here to stay, no matter how you try to drive us away with your curmudgeonly behavior. All right. <sighs> Well, it's going to be the first ever one-minute-long podcast. Well, we already beat a minute, my well, friend. It's all getting cut, so what do we care? Why would you do that? And I took time out of my busy schedule collecting scrap metal from people's private homes without their permission, and you are just disrespecting me, and you're disrespecting Andrew, who got me, who asked me. I guess. Oscar, how you been? You know, I've been good. I've been doing it, doing yeah. the thing. I'm good. I'm um, doing it. Just doing it. Do, do you want to do, do it? Let's do one in D, Andrew. Uh, Johnny, <laughs> do one in D. Sing, Sean, sing. Sing, Sean. No. Sing, Sean, sing. <laughs> Sean won't sing because he's a little scared, but he just has to get his testicles wrapped around his ankle and make himself feel like a man today. Why didn't you That's sing, it. Sean? Why? What's wrong with you? I thought Andrew told me you took improv class. What has have? I thought, why are you not improv? I have taken improv class. I'm just not in the mood. I'm not, I'm not in the mood tonight. <laughs> Bad mood generally. And then I thought, oh, I'll see my friends tonight. And then, nope, it's fucking Johnny Rocket. Hey, I've never, I've never Andrew told me that you wanted Johnny Rocket on the podcast. He said that you were asking about him and asking about him and bitching and moaning that he ain't here yet and you're crying to your mom and then finally I'm here and now you can't even you can't even show me the respect to like a little sing a little song with me. Johnny, it's not your fault. It's really I just have a problem with Andrew in general. Uh some days I deeply regret getting into this business relationship with him because I just <laughs> <laughs> Because why? Because yeah, he's he handsome and you're not? He doesn't, he doesn't respect me as a friend, collaborator, uh, just in every regard. And, you know, I appreciate, he, he thinks a lot of times just by, you know, sending me things and be like, do this, do this, he's helping. But a lot of times he's just not. He's just not helping. And then, you know, I just feel this, our age difference, the riff and in general. And it makes oh. me sad. I know this friendship's not going to work out in the long run. <laughs> Is Johnny Rocket like a therapy puppet? I guess so, so. I'm not a therapy puppet. I'm a person. But I think you're a therapy puppet. A therapy. How would you like if I called you a puppet? I'm not Alice Cougar Melon Plant. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. not. I'm not a uh, Gene Gene Zimmerman. Does anyone want a cat? My grandma. Uh, Nobody wants a cat. No one wants a cat. My grandma. Not even a new. I, I already have a cat that I like. You find a, a home for my grandmother's cat. I'm got my. I'm getting a car for a cat. Just put the cat down. Someone's giving no. me a car to take their cat, and you're how, just trying how, to how, get how me old, to take a cat for free. Cat? It's like eight, I oh, think. That's like the worst age, which is like 
It's not going to die soon, but like it's not a cute kitten. It's uh, six. I don't know how old it is. <laughs> In that it, case, it's six. If you don't it, like it, it's just, six. Just cut the cat six. in half and then count the rings to find out how old it is. What was that? I opened up a game on my phone. You guys ever play Wordscapes? No. Oh, no. Is that good? Uh, it's addicting. It's They give you a bunch of letters. And you have to f- figure out how many words you can spell with the, with just those letters. Huh. We could play, uh, you know, that what game is popular among us. You know what uh, game is possible? Let's do 21. Let's do truth or dare. All right. Dude, let's play uh, truth or dare. Truth or dare. Uh, Johnny Rock, you go yeah. first. Truth, truth or dare. dare. Truth or dare, Sean. No, I'm giving you the truth or dare. I'm the host of the podcast. You're a guest. Truth or dare. No, you give a truth or dare right now. Truth or dare. Yeah, exactly. Truth or dare. You pick pick truth or dare. Truth or or dare. I heard dare. Truth. All right, you want to give a truth? Yeah, you you go with truth? Okay, Sean, when was the first time you realized you had an eating problem? Yeah, there it is again. Uh, here's the truth. Next time Andrew brings it up to me in person, I'm gonna punch him in the face. When I, just, was I, the... I had that. I had that thought that, like little, little earlier today. So I was like, I really just didn't like his attitude on the weekend when he brought it up. So I'm gonna punch Andrew as hard as I can in the face, and we'll just go from there. Now his daddies might break up. I might kill him, and uh, with one punch. Yeah, I might kill. I can kill Andrew with one punch. I'm very. Fun. I almost killed a guy one time, and I put the well, one time I threw a punch. Like he was like he was knocked out and concussed. So his, his skull hit the floor. When oh, was the first time sucks. you realized you had rage issues? I don't have rage issues. I have perfectly controlled rage. At just a certain point, you get fed up and you got to strike. No, that's called rage issues. No, nope, that's not rage issues. That's actually perfectly how to handle your anger. That's called not talking to people and actually it is talking it up. When you bring up something with somebody so many times, then they keep doing it as if they have some sort of oppositional defiance disorder, even though they're pushing 40 and that's a made up fucking mental disorder. All star. (laughs) Hey, man. I mean, this is what Andrew told me. Andrew told me you have no problem dishing it out. But when it comes to taking it, you just whimper like a little baby and then you uh, threaten violence. I've never I, I have no problem taking it. Problem is the way Andrew dishes it out. It's just annoying and obnoxious. Not even clever. I don't know, man. That sounds like you have a problem with it to me. I don't know. Yeah, with with like some the right music under this is like gold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> none, of the, none of this is going out to people, anyways. Here. <laughs> oh, fuck! I hate this podcast. <laughs> I hate, I hate, I hate, it's I hate the best people. episode. I've listened to all your episodes, and I think this is the best one so far. I generally don't like doing the podcast. Okay. I don't find it good. I don't think it's fun and entertaining on any level. And I feel like we're just going through the motion a lot because it's something we're like obligated to do to like help create our channel. Okay. I think Sean's just having a bad day. And he's uh, taking it out on everyone else. No, no. Do, do you- I've Do you know? Um, sorry, you go. Oh, you know, you go, Oscar. Well, I was just gonna say, let's do it. We should play Among Us. To <laughs> restart this, do a, a Zoom start. Among Us. We probably would get more followers if we just started doing fucking video game streaming. Yeah, like online yeah, video games. Just three of us playing video games. That's like so why don't you stop shitting on the things you're doing and just do them? And actually just focus and try to do them instead of just worrying about whether they're good or not. This doesn't sound like Johnny Rocket. Yeah, it's hey man. <laughs> I'm a Johnny Rocket. What do you what do you can't tell me I don't sound like myself? Yeah. And you don't sound like yourself. You sound like Bruno Mars. Well, I'm I'm doing a character. I'm not I'm not myself. I'm not. My character is coincidentally called Bruno Mars. Oh, Bruno Venus, Bruno Jupiter. You're fucking Sailor Sailor Bruno over here. Well, 
Oscar, can you tell yes. me a little bit about why, why you grow your hair long? Uh, pandemic. But then also uh, just change of pace. Change of pace? You, to you change your toothpaste and then you're like, oh my God, my mouth feels minty like the time I OD'd on, on Altoids. Let me grow my hair out again. Is that what yeah. happened? Switch it up, switch it up, and, you know, save part of it, saving money, but not really, but also just, yeah, just going for it. S switching it up. Yeah. It looks, you look like a prince from a comic book, like Prince Valiant. Well, thank you, I think. <laughs> Why is your head all the way to one side of the screen? Yeah, you never sit in the middle. <laughs> well, no, the... I'm, the iPad's on the side, so the camera's on yeah, the side. It still sit to the side a little bit more, makes up more even. You know, I could. I was doing the two thirds rule, man. Yeah, yeah. you want to sit in the third of the rule of thirds or whatever they call it. Third, yeah. I don't know if that that works for podcasting. You know, I don't know if it works for podcasting either. I was try I'm just trying it out. Us, Sean's doing the rule of sitting in front of your friend's face like he's doing you from behind. <laughs> yeah, it's really more of uh, he's doing me from behind. That's what I'm saying. I mean, if I had to pick someone to, out of the three of us to have sex with, it would definitely. Oh, I'm honored. Wow, you're really trying to hurt Andrew's feelings. <laughs> I feel like Andrew always knew that, though, before I verbalized that. It's not so much a looks thing. It's just more I prefer Oscar as a person. Oh, I see. But, <laughs> also, but also it's a looks thing. Well, I'm glad he's not here today because you would have really said you would have really been sad if he was here. You would have really <laughs> all hurt. Well, you know, that's, that's, that's fine. <laughs> you said a lot of horrible been, things to him. You would have been devastated. <laughs> I'm going to tell him not to watch this episode because he would just get really upset. I know him. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's soul would have been crushed. <laughs> I mean, you threatened him with violence. You said you questioned the very uh, validity of our, your projects, your creative projects. And uh, I'm sure he wouldn't have liked that. But, you know, he won't have to know. He doesn't have to know. It's between us. I promise. I, one thing people can say about me, I may eat your trash right out of your garbage can with no with my hands tied behind your back. But I will never tell you secrets. Yeah, no snitch. Yeah, no Johnny snitch. Rockets, no snitch. No uh, snitch. And no switch. I'm not a Nintendo Switch either. That's good. You know, that's good. Yeah, so who's you guys want to have sex with tonight? Tonight, myself. No, but who do you want to? Not who are you going to? I have no one in my life that I feel on any sort of emotional level that I'd want to be with intimately. I mean, there's obviously women I'd like to be with carnally, but at a certain point, it's like- Like in a, as a carny at a circus? Yeah, I like to I like to make them into carnival folk. Uh, I'd like to take all, their, take all their wardrobe and burn it and only give them burlap sacks to wear around the carnival asking, did you like some cotton candy? You had sex on a log flume? No, I have had sex on a log plume. Uh, a log flume is a really fun, flume. but it's a, you get a lot of bacterial infections that way. Because the water, you know, it splashes all over you, and that water is filthy. Yeah. yeah. So, like, but, uh... so why do you hang out with women, Sean, who you like? I hang out with women I like. But you said you're not emotionally or whatever to them. Yeah, you, you don't have friends where you don't have emotional, sexual feelings? Friends, yeah, but not not people who I want to hang out with in a romantic way. Well, I don't hang out with people in a romantic way. It's been a very long time since I've had anybody like that. You know, have you heard of hedonism too? What, what was that you cut out? Have you heard of hedonism too? Have I heard of hedonism too? Yeah. Is that, is that a, a sequel? Is that a sequel to hedonism? <laughs> it's a resort in, in the Turks and Caicos. That's where I met my second ex-wife. And I'll tell you what, there was a lot of eligible women down there. A lot of them are very nice people. 
and you go there, you have a lot of sex, you drink some pina coladas, and I'm telling you, it's a great way to meet new people. Yeah, you know, there's still a worldwide pandemic, right? And uh, you can't just uh, travel anywhere. And you're young. No. Well, as my friend pointed out the other day, I'm morbidly obese, so I would die of it. No, you're not morbidly obese. That, you, look that, way, that, you look way under the obesity limit. Yeah. You look like you look like you ever see somebody else's Patreon it makes you happy because they're not because theirs is failing. Oh, no, <laughs> no, I haven't. Look, uh, I mean, that, honestly, it, it, like seeing more than our show succeeding, seeing our our peers, friends shows failing makes me feel really good. I don't know why that it's a weird shot in front. And even though I usually like the people making the stuff, but knowing that they're not doing well either makes me happy. Hmm. Don't worry about the shot in Freud. Worry about getting your shot so you could get vaccinated and go down to hedonism too and meet the love of your life. I've been thinking about saying again, the vaccine shot. I'm going to get a nine millimeter shot in my arm. <laughs> same same spot I would get it. That's so depressing. Why would you say that? Well, that way I'm trying to make other people kill themselves too. No, I mean, I saw today. We're not allowed to joke about that anymore. Because I got mad at Will Forte because he has a new show about Plan, planning to kill himself mm. and I was like don't you can't make a show like that and I'm like why not and they didn't give, they didn't give me an answer mm. yeah why not I t- uh, I want to make a show about all the famous people who killed themselves and they get in a room together right before they kill themselves and it's an alternate universe and they talk they talk each other out of killing each who's, who's your favorite person that killed themselves um my favorite person that killed themselves. I know what, uh, know what Andrew would say. I mean, yeah. Andrew would say Adolf Hitler. No, Adolf Hitler he didn't kill himself. The Jews ate him alive. No, he, well, they, they ate him, but they didn't eat him alive. They ate he him was alive. shot in the bunker and knew the cannibal Jews were coming for him. And mm-hmm. so he shot himself in the head. Yeah, he had a vision when he was young that the Jews were going to turn cannibalistic. And that's why he started the Holocaust. I know, but I, I feel like I, it's starting. It is what started is what started the cannibalism, which st- sealed his fate. It was a full circle premonition. It was really well storytelling by Dave, David Benioff and David Weiss. And God. No, God doesn't. I say. mean, Jews were always the best producers. They realized that's what Hitler was doing, so they had to make it into a good story. Yeah. Huh. Um, but my favorite person who killed themselves. My big, um, the, the biggest person I miss was actually, um, well, it's kind of hard to talk about. It's still a little fresh, but I say Prince. Prince didn't kill himself. Yeah, he did. I mean, not directly. With those shoes, he had a death wish. They're so high. He was hoping he'd fall and kill himself his entire career. Prince? Yeah. So who's your favorite? It was an overdose, right? Yeah, he OD'd on a bunch of prescription shit. No, he OD'd on um, Jehovah. He was doing too much Jehovah. He was doing them all at the same time, so it's really kind of indeterminate. I thought he knocked on someone's door he knew hated Jehovah's Witness, and then they shot him, and it was kind of like a death by cop situation, except for death by anarch. uh, By uh, What do they call him when they don't believe in God? Atheists? Yeah, death by atheist. atheist. Is death by atheist. Suicide by atheist. What if you believe in a monkey god? Are you an atheist? You believe in a monkey god? You're not an atheist. You're a Hanuman worshiper. I went to the temple of the monkey in uh, Varanasi, India, and they crawled all over me. Yeah. You guys ever notice how long 40 minutes is when you're not enjoying the conversation? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you do something to make the conversation more fun instead of just making it less fun i don't know johnny johnny will you play us another song yeah play us a song why does it look like you're drinking drinking urine (laughs) because i am because urine is healthy it cleanses out your biometrics and makes you is that your in or somebody else's is it's it's a mix it's a blend Hmm. why don't you play a blues for us 
All right. But yeah, play some blues. Oscar will sing this time. I'm not singing. <laughs> You see, my baby, she is always in my mind. You see, my baby, she always in my mind. Even when I masturbate the porn, I think about her behind. Well, that was something. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm, I'm famous for being a one chorus type of songwriter. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, cause I feel like, I feel like anything else is a little bit self indulgent, you know. And people don't really. It's like the time of the TikTok, right? People like this quick content, sixty seconds. That's it. They move on to the next thing. Anything more than that is self indulgent and out of touch. And I'm I might be old as dirt, but I ain't out of touch yet. I think we have sixty seconds we could cut from this podcast. Oh yeah, I mean it'll be. T- <laughs> you know, there's something there. How about a, pa- a bossa nova? No, oh, why are you making me do all the heavy lifting here? I don't know. You're our guest. We make all of our guests do. If you really listen to the podcast, you know, like the podcast is mainly our guests talking, and then Oscar and I saying like four words max. I'm not a guest. I'm a That's- guest host. <laughs> and then when you're not interviewing me, you're not talking. You're not asking me. You're not. If I'm the guest. It's just making me perform like a fucking monkey king. And all you right. talk about the monkey guy, but you're not interviewing me at all. All right, well, monkey boy started fucking performing. <laughs> I was until you were so rude. Yeah, I'm rude. Yeah. Who's the rudest person you've ever met? Round two. Sean Barry. Be Piven. Sean Barry. Yeah, shame, shame he's not here tonight. After Are you all, in character too? Yeah, Are we all in character. I'm, I'm Joey Comet. <laughs> Joey Comet. Comet. Joey Comet. I did um, just interview me, you son of a bitch. What? what um. All right. All right. All right. I got yeah. a question. Why? Let's with a bottle boozy boss, she's was a boozy boss, she's a boss a booze, and she's was a boozy bow. Pizzles was as 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 was was as was that's by Tom Joe Beam. You might have heard of him. Uh, uh, Tom Jelly Bean? Is that his name? No, Tom Joe Beam. Look him up. He's a genius. A Brazilian legend of Bossa Nova. You should have heard of him by now. From the Colgate Radio Hour. Johnny, how many OnlyFans are you subscribed to? Um, I don't know. I'm not. I don't think any unless someone hacked my credit card. No, not a single one. That's a little problematic, isn't it? Why is that problematic? I don't look at porn. You don't support small businesses. I do support them by by telling people to go there. Yeah, but like you, you're not personally supporting them. I mean, how many do you support? Me? I support all of them. How many of them are your coworkers? 335,000 specifically. I spend that a month. <laughs> I subscribe. Give them all a dollar. And then, of course, every day I go through tipping all of them ten dollars. Wow! How do you get all this money? Oh, I'm uh, independently wealthy. Uh, I started a small business. You know that thing at the end of shoelaces that mm-hmm. make them nice and tight. My family, we are the one who smelt them together. They so smelt them. Oh wow! Yeah. Then the- who 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 dealt them? Who distributes them? Well. Before the SEC got involved, we did. We owned the smelting and the schvelting and the gelting. But now we had to break up our business, so we just do the schmelting and the gelting. And then the schvelting, that is done by our good friends, the 
Adobe Zooms. <laughs> Adobe Zooms, huh? That's yeah, an interesting name. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. See, they, he's talking about monopolies getting broken apart. I think Adobe and Zoom are probably due for a breakup. Well, you see, you, that's where you'd be wrong there because they're not uh, they're not monopolies. They're conglomerates. That's completely legal. Yeah, but who else is doing what they're doing? Lots of other people. You got the Skypes. You got the Blipes. And you got the Drips. Well, he sounds like you're just making up names. Well, Skype exists. So that's well, that's definitely a competitor. The WhatsApp, the WeChat. Mm. Yeah, WhatsApp, WeChat, Facebook, Instagram, Twitters, F- Snappy Chappies, uh, Hippity Happities, Clune Tang, Clune Tang, Cheat Tangs, Google Hangouts, Google Meets, Hang. Google Get Ups, Google Greets, Google Get Outs. No, you're right. This is a bad podcast. <laughs> Johnny, why do you feel it's a bad podcast? Johnny, He's how not- many podcasts do you get to go on? Because you guys aren't talking about anything. What do you mean? We're rhyming things. We're not rhyming things. We're listing businesses that people could get on. Yeah, you're making it. Also, you feel like <laughs> you think people are listening now at the 37 minute mark? I mean, they <laughs> will. Yeah, because I'm on. All right. This so, is a Johnny Rocket. So, Johnny, you and Andrew have a lot in common where you only think things are good if you're dominating the conversation. You can never be the assist. And help out your fellow co-workers. It always oh, I'll assist you any day of the week, buddy. You have to, you have to dominate. But you got you got you got to give me something to assist. We, we, you could have hopped in on that riff right there between Oscar and I. The Skype and the dipe and the lipe and the flipe and the clipe and the tripe and the mipe and the dipe. Oh, my God. What an interesting concept. Yeah, you, you got gripes. You came in late. You could have helped direct this to someone else. But, you know, you didn't know how to hop in a, on a pop, you know, in improv. Remember all those podcasts, Oscar, that we did before we put out anything, any of them out over Zoom, and they're just sitting on my hard drive? <laughs> yeah, the ones where it was just the three of us. Yeah, when we were actually together sitting in a room. Yeah, it's a it's a nightmare. Uh, I think I think the what what I think having the guest that's like awesome. Yeah, the guest does keep us in check. And Johnny Rocket, that's why we're happy to have you here. Yeah, although last week Andrew was a Thank little thing the entire time. Uh, what did Andrew do? Andrew was a little dickling because he his tummy hurt, so he was being. And I think he, I think he did a good job last last week. Last week, no, we I remember the first half when the, uh, before our guest showed up and he was just like, mm. yeah, but I mean, there was that, but I mean, but the, he was on the game when the guest was on. He had the the stomach fly, the stomach butterflies uh, turned into a uh, stomach. Uh, Help me out here. John, you look disappointed. <laughs> what? To hear that your uh, perception of reality is not quite uh, so Oscar, clear. Oscar doesn't pay attention to anything. Yeah. In fact, I got Oscar hated some of the things he saw of himself last night. He's going to hate what he sees of himself tonight in the editing session. He's like, oh, oh, I, oh you, you put some more stuff in there? Yeah, he's he's not gonna he's not gonna care for some of these. In fact, maybe I could, <laughs> maybe I could tease our audience with uh, with, with something he says. All right, give me, give me tease. Can everybody hear this? You guys ready for this? Yeah, yeah. I like pasta. Oh yes, God! <laughs> I like pasta. I like pasta. I like pasta. Pasta. I like pasta. It's like that that guy, but like. I like turtles. I sound like I wear a polo. Yeah. Like, hey, hey, it's me. I like pasta. The instruction to it was say it like you're from Connecticut. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like pasta. I like <laughs> pasta. I like pasta. I like pasta. <laughs> Is that like the world's strongest transgender person? I like pasta. <laughs> I like pasta. I like pasta. Oscar, what do you like? I like pasta. Well, what's your favorite thing? I like pasta. <laughs> what, do you, what, what do you want for what do you want for dinner? I like pasta. She needs a sick beat. That it's that's a wrap. If you were to, if you were gonna cook for a woman coming over to get her pussy wet, what, what would you make her? Pasta. <laughs> <laughs> you did that editing right there. Yeah, right, yeah. right down there. Right there, right there. Yeah, right there. Right there.
throw up, throw up another one on the board. Maybe Andrew or oh, whatever you want. Uh, we want to uh, mix want Master to... Sean on the ones and twos. The ones yeah. and twos, baby. <laughs> uh, I already... Oh, no, not, not that one. Not, not that one. Not, not yet. Truth to dare. Truth to dare, but, Oscar. No, I got a better one. Uh, go on YouTube. Find a celebrity rant. And we have to guess what celebrity it is. Oh, it's probably Mel Gibson going off on the. Uh... Oh, here's 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 another good one. Cold steel to the dome piece, brother. <laughs> Cold steel to the dome piece, brother. Sounds like someone who yeah. never intimidated anyone in his entire life. Yeah, Oscar, <laughs> what, what what would you do if somebody broke into your house? Cold steel to the dome piece, brother. I'd be like, "Are you okay?" Uh, do, do you need a phone, sir? Yeah. <laughs> Can I help you out? Yeah. What? How would you? Uh, if your brother called you up, what would, what would you give him? Cold steel to the dome piece, brother. <laughs> the dome piece, brother. Brother. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. So that was another episode of uh, Knowledge Daddy's podcast, everybody. Um, I don't know why. I just suddenly now got in a good mood. I don't know why. I was in a bad mood for the last four minutes. <laughs> minutes I got cheered up. It's just sound clips. Because I haven't been talking for about five minutes. I'm like, that might have something to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys know that in your brain, the hate center and love center are right next to each other? I believe it. Often, um, oftentimes, you have mental disorders. You can't that's get- that's that reminds me of my high school. The Gray Straight Alliance was right next to the We Hate Gays Center, the Gays Club. Yeah. Hmm. So you that went one. to school. What year was that? 1945, 1946? 1974. Yeah, this, that was the summer of love, right? No, that was 69. Hmm. If Cardi B was like, I'll give you a hundred dollars for let me just sit on your face and suffocate you to death, would you do it? Well, the, the money's not useful when you die. Yeah, but you can give it to your next of kin. A hundred dollars? That's nothing. Donnie, you got any kids? Mm, not that I mean, not that I care to admit to. Oh, why because they're black? No. My black ones are my favorite ones. Johnny, how much of this podcast do you think is usable that we're going to be able to put on our face on our YouTube? I mean, I think all of it's per perf, it's priceless because I'm on it. I'm a legend. I'm a living legend. I told Diana Ross that she was slightly talented. I met Lenny Bruce back when he was his nickname was <laughs> Leonard Bruce. They called him Leonard Bruce. Yeah. 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 You know, you know, um, Bob Dylan. No, I've never heard of him. Well, I, I actually told him, you know, Woody Guthrie? No. Well, you know, Mississippi John Hurt. I actually told Woody Guthrie, you know, Mississippi John Hurt? No. Well, I told Woody, I told Mississippi John Hurt, you know, Blind Lemon Jefferson? Oh, yeah, I do. Actually, you know what? I just, Johnny, I was doing some Google. I found a song here. It's got to play it for our audience, a, a mastered version. Sure. Why not? Okay. Yeah. Okay, all right, ready? This is uh, Johnny Rockets. Uh, Why don't we add it in post so they hear a good quality version? Well, no, I think people have come to expect this quality. Uh-huh. So, Chef Tom, please pay attention to me. I have such a talented singing voice. That's not me, that's Andrew. Oh, that was you, dude. It said Johnny Rocket. No, that's Andrew. What? Andrew doesn't sing. Everybody knows that. That's not true. He's a good singer. His dad told him so all the time. <laughs> I think his dad said, "You're you're good now. Sting her." He was a B. Ah, uh, Andrew's a B. I I think you're uh, on some drugs. Maybe you and Oscar can go to a program together. Some might say he's a bit of a buzzard. Buzzard, because he's yeah. um a, a vulture. Like no. a type of vault. Are you trying to? That sounds anti-Semitic because vultures have a big nose. They say Jews are predatory, and it turn. You know that sounds a little anti-Semitic, if you ask me. 
Well, on that note, that's another episode of Knowledge Daddy's podcast, everybody. Play us out, baby. Play us out, Johnny. Free bird. Say it loud. Sean's an (laughs) anti-Semite. All right, buddy. Give it up for Johnny Rocket. Follow him on Instagram at Johnny Rocket. You can follow me at Big Bear 63 on Instagram. You can follow Oscar at Desiderio. No. Oscar. You can follow Andrew Steiner. Andrew Steiner. With Listen. Man. Follow Nas. That's not Oscar. what my that's not my Instagram handle. My Instagram handle is at last rocket. All right. At last rocket. At last rocket. Other than that, guys, like, share, and subscribe to the Nas Daddy's YouTube page. Please help us keep growing as a brand and Making fun me. content for you. We're working hard on season two and finishing up season one. Uh, please uh, let leave us a message if you liked this episode. If you did and you made it to the end, uh, I'll give you a gold star. Bye. All right. Are we ending this soon? I mean, yeah. Somebody wants to end the record. Oh, I'm I'm the host. <laughs> you can edit and Johnny.